Introduction Intuitive Idea of Derivatives Suppose a body is dropped from a tall cliff. Then, as we know, distance s in meters covered by the body as a function of time t in second is given by s equals to 4.9 t square. The values taken by s at different time intervals from the start are shown in the following table. To find the velocity of a body at a time t equals to 2 seconds from this data 1 approach will be to find the average velocity for various intervals of time ending at t equals to 2 seconds. The average velocity in the first 2 seconds is the distance travelled in time interval t2 equals to 2 and t1 equals to 0 divided by the time interval t2 minus t1 that is equal to 19.6 minus 0 meters divided by 2 minus 0 seconds which is equal to 9.8 meters per second. Similarly, the average velocity between t equals to 1 and t equals to 2 is 19.6 minus 4.9 meters divided by 2 minus 1 seconds, which is equal to 14.7 meters per second. Likewise, we compute the average velocities between t equals to t1 and t equals to 2 for various t1. We observe that average velocity is gradually increasing. As we make the time intervals ending at t equals to 2 smaller, we see that we get a better idea of the velocity at t equals to 2. Hoping that nothing really dramatic happens between 1.99 seconds and 2 seconds. We conclude that the average velocity at t equals to 2 seconds is just above 19.55 meters per second. As before, the average velocity v between t equals to 2 seconds and t equals to t2 seconds is distance travelled between 2 seconds and t2 seconds divided by t2 minus 2 that is distance travelled in t2 seconds minus distance travelled in 2 seconds divided by t2 minus 2 which is equal to distance travelled in t2 seconds minus 19.6 seconds divided by t2 minus 2. Here again we note that if we take smaller time intervals starting at t equals to 2, we get a better idea of velocity at t equals to 2. In the first set of computations, what we have done is to find average velocities in increasing time intervals ending at t equals to 2. In the second set of computations, we have found that the average velocities decreasing in time intervals ending at t equals to 2. Purely on the physical grounds, both these sequences of average velocities must approach a common limit. We can safely conclude that the velocity of the body at t equals to 2 is between 19.55 meters per second and 19.65 meters per second. Technically, we say that the instantaneous velocity at t equals to 2 is between 19.55 meters per second and 19.65 meters per second. Hence, from the given data of distance covered at various time instants, we have estimated the rate of change of distance at a given instant of time. We say that the derivative of distance function s equals to 
4.9t square at t equals to 2 is between 19.55 and 19.65. There is an alternative way of viewing this limiting process as well. A plot of distance s of the body from the top of the cliff versus the time t elapsed is shown in the following graph. In the limit as the sequence of time intervals h1, h2 approaches 0, the sequence of average velocities approaches the same limit as does the sequence of ratios c1, b1 divided by ac1, c2, b2 divided by ac2, c3, b3 divided by ac3, where c1, b1 equals to s1. S0 is the distance travelled by the body in the time interval h1 equals to ac1, etc. From this figure, it is safe to conclude that this latter sequence approaches the slope of the tangent to the curve at point A. In other words, the instantaneous velocity v of a body at time t equals to 2 is equal to the slope of the tangent of the curve s equals to 4.9 t square at t equals to 2.